Welcome back to video five on our NTHS one pager project. In this video, we're going to add some graphical elements like little quotation marks, some lines and some arrows, and even some social media icons to really liven up this one pager. All right, so first we're gonna start adding graphical elements. So we're gonna lock the text layer and unlock the graphics and images layer. And we'll just make sure that we're working in that graphics and images layer. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, even though we're, this is going to be a graphic, we're gonna create a text box because we wanna make these little quotation looking things in the background of this quote. So with my text tool selected, I'm just gonna draw a box. And because I have some white space up here, I'm just gonna draw it right here because we're gonna move it later. In my text box, I'm going to make a quotation mark and it's itty bitty right now. It's very, very small. So I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna make it really big. So we're gonna make it size 72. And I'm gonna change the font name to times. And we'll do times bold actually to make it nice and bold. And then when I have that done, all I need to do now is turn it into graphic because we don't want it to be text. So with my black arrow, my selection tool selected, with it selected, we're gonna go up to type and we're gonna go down to create outlines. And what that does is it turns it into a shape that we can edit. So now I can change the fill color to our NTHS purple and I can put it over here underneath the text where I want it. I'm gonna change the opacity to eight, so 8% 8 so that it's nice and muted back there behind our image. I'm gonna zoom in, so I'm doing Command plus if you're on a Mac or Control plus if you're on a PC. But now I have these little quote graphic that I can put on the background of our quote here. You can see it has like this red outline. That is not a real part of my image. It's just showing me what's selected. If you press the W key on your keyboard, it's going to hide all of those lines. If you don't have anything selected, it will get rid of all those lines. So you don't see your guidelines anymore. You don't see the selection boxes or anything like that if you press W on and off. So that's just kind of like a little view to show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna turn it back on. All right, so I have my quotation marks right there. I'm actually gonna get another set of them. So I'm gonna hold down the option key or alt key if you're on a PC while it's selected and hold down that option or alt key, move it down to the bottom right hand side of the quote. And on this side, you're just gonna click and drag the corner holding down the shift key while you do it so that we get it perfectly rotated around. So it's at a rotation of 180 degrees. So we have our quote graphic there and a quote graphic there underneath our actual quote. And I'm gonna press that W key again so you guys can see what that looks like. It's very faint in the background, that's all we want there. All right, now our social media icons. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit over here. I might zoom in a little bit more. I'm gonna hold down my space bar and move over just a little bit here. When I look at these social media things, I've actually noticed another issue is this YouTube link is divided onto two lines. So I'm gonna go back onto my text layer, unlock that layer, lock my graphics layer, and I'm gonna double click inside here and backspace so that my YouTube channel is all together in like one paragraph. Now I can lock that back up and go back to my graphics. Okay, so now that I have all of my social media handles correctly lined up over here, we're gonna get our rectangle frame tool. And instead of clicking and dragging a box, I'm just gonna click anywhere in this white area right here. A dialog box comes up and it lets me type in the width and height of the rectangle that I want. So I'm gonna do 0.255 and the height as 0.255 as well. So it's a perfect square. All right, so this, this one image frame, I'm going to grab the selection tool and click and drag it so that it's Line, the right side is lined up to the right side of the text. And then the cross in the middle is kind of in the middle of where the, the line of text is. So right about there. Then I'm gonna hold down that option key and click and drag down here. I'm gonna do similar to like what we did with the text boxes at the bottom. So again, I'm still holding down my mouse key. I'm gonna let go of the option key, still holding the mouse key. And I'm gonna press the right arrow one, two, three times and then let go. And it automatically evenly distributes those five text boxes between our five different handles for social media. All right, so with all of them still selected, you can see that they're still selected right there. We're gonna go ahead and add a text wrap to all of these. So I'm gonna click on that text wrap right there. We're gonna change the area around the text wrap to 0.0625. So I'm gonna click the up arrow just 
a little bit, but I want them to be linked. So turning on that link again, so there's a 0.65 area around each one of them. Okay, so now with them all selected, we're gonna go ahead and set the frame fitting for these so that when we do insert the logos, they're fitted correctly. We're gonna go ahead and click on auto fit the content. We right click and go to the fitting and frame fitting options, we can make sure that it fits the content proportionately with inside the frame and then click OK. Now we'll go to each one of these and fill them in. I need to deselect first, so click somewhere out here and just click on the first one. And then I can do Command D or Control D to put in our Twitter social media icon. Then click on the next one, Command D, choose our Facebook social media icon and continue that process over and over again using that Command D or Control D to place your social media icons into the correct frame. Now I'm gonna select all five of these and we're gonna go ahead and group them together so that they're all together within the graphics and images. So if we mess with one of them, it'll mess with all of them together. I can do that by going to Command G on my keyboard or Control G and you can see that now it has grouped them all together inside of this group. I'm going to actually rename that by clicking on it twice slowly and name it social media icons. So that group now has a name in our layers panel. All right, now we need to go ahead and add an arrow. So I'm holding down my space bar to move over to this area in my design and we're going to create an arrow that goes from this text box over to the QR code basically saying that this QR code will lead you to the NTHS advisor guidebook. So using the pen tool, I'm going to click and drag from right here. So I'm gonna click and drag my mouse down about that much, just a little bit, let go. And then I'm going to move my mouse over here towards the QR code and just click once. And you can see it's kind of made this little red line. With my black arrow tool, with it selected, right now it has no fill and no stroke, so you can't see anything. But I'm gonna change that stroke color to the NTHS purple. So if I click on the little box here, I can go down to NTHS purple. And then if I click on the word stroke, I can change the endpoint right here to that triangle wide. And now I have an arrow pointing to my QR code. All right, one more thing we need to do as far as adding graphics, actually two more things that we gotta do. So we're gonna add a line that goes from the blue horizontal guide all the way down to the orange horizontal guide. So I'm just gonna get my line tool here, go along the orange guide. So I'm gonna click and drag all the way down, holding down the shift key to make sure that it's perfectly straight down. Again, you can't really see anything because there is no stroke color, no fill color. We're gonna change that stroke color to black and we're gonna change the thickness of the stroke to two points. We're gonna use that line tool again to draw from this margin along the orange line all the way over to this margin. And again, we're gonna change that to black and a two point line. Use my black selection tool just to get off of anything selected, select outside, click anywhere outside in the gray area. I'm gonna use the W key to see what it looks like. If I zoom out a little bit, you can kind of see it's almost there. One thing you'll notice that happens is in this start on a chapter graphic, that little arrow is really, really close to my line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click inside here to get to our image. And then we're gonna go to Object Transform Scale. And we're gonna move it down to 95% on the X and Y. And then click OK and it's kind of made it smaller, and now we can move it over just a little bit so that it's not so close to that black line. And I can click off here somewhere so that it's not selected. Okay, so we have everything in here visually the way it's supposed to be. Now let's add a little bit of interactivity. So if we go over to the nths.org up here, so if I get my text tool, and I, oop, I need to make sure that that layer is not locked, I'll lock my graphics layer. So on my text layer, I'm gonna double click and highlight this entire URL. We're gonna go to type, hyperlinks and cross references, and do new hyperlink from URL. Now, when we make this into a PDF, you'll actually be able to click on that and it will take you to the right website. We're gonna do the same thing right here with this URL. So I highlighted it and I'm gonna go to type, 
hyperlinks and cross-references, new hyperlink from URL. All right, so now we've got everything the way that we want it to look like. We have it visually created and it's now interactive with those hyperlinks. Let's go ahead and do a quick spell check. So if we do edit spelling, check spelling, it's gonna go through and make sure that each thing is correct. Now, this part right here is part of a email, so I'm going to skip that one. Online is now correctly used as a word like that, so we're gonna skip that as well. Skip the URL, skip our social media handles, those are all correct. Skip that URL. Scholarships down here, it says that it needs to be capitalized, but that's only because we have it kind of on a new line here, but we're gonna skip that as well. We don't need to capitalize any of those letters. Spell check is now complete, there's no issues. So we can go ahead and save this. And we are ready for our next video that's gonna show us how to export it. Thanks for watching, this completes video five. Click here to move on to video six, and we'll see you in the next video.